This video will show you how to navigate the SUS options on your HHD. Turn on your HHD. Start the utility software program and log in as manager. You are now in the main screen of the SUS software. Tap SUS options. Tap SUS password. This is where you can change the login password. Changing the password ensures that only authorized personnel can access the utility software on your HHD. All fields are required, and the new password should be at least four characters in length. If you do not wish to change the password at this time, tap Back. Tap Language. This is where you can change the language of the utility software. If you do not wish to change the language, tap Back. Tap Door List. This feature only applies to offline locks. In the Door List tab, you have two options to display your offline door files. List All Doors will show the already programmed doors with a green check next to them, and doors that have yet to be programmed marked with a red X on the main screen. List Pending Doors will show only non-programmed doors on the main screen. Choose the option that suits you best and tap Back. Tap Update Mode. This feature only applies to offline locks. In the Update Mode tab, you also have two options, Auto Update and Manual Update. In Auto Update, every time the HHD is connected to an offline lock that has been previously programmed, it will start retrieving audits automatically. If there are door files, they will also be uploaded to the lock automatically. In Manual Update, when the HHD is connected to an offline lock, the user will have to retrieve audits and program the lock using manual commands. Tap Back to return to the SUS option screen. Tap Connection Type. In the Connection Type, you have two options. In USB Connection, this option is selected for all AD series devices. In Serial Connection, this type of connection is used for other Schlage electronic devices, such as CM, CL, and KC2. Tap Back to return to the SUS option screen. Tap Programming Password. Changing the programming password is very important to ensure your devices only couple with your designated HHDs. For more information on coupling, watch the Coupling the HHD video or consult your user guide.